Hi guys, Sophia here, and if you are new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on all my videos. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own conditioner. This is a brief overview of all the ingredients that you'll need. And so the first ingredient that you're going to use is your own conditioner, whatever conditioner that you want to use. The conditioner I'm using is Argon Oil Moisture Repair Conditioner. I am putting one cup in there. If your hair is thicker or longer than mine, then you want to apply more because I almost ran out of like this mixture and so but here I'm just using one cup the next ingredient you want to use is a tablespoon of honey which helps your hair grow and then you want to use one egg which is rich in protein as well as a lot of other ingredients and it helps moisturize and condition your hair then I got a tablespoon of olive oil olive oil helps smooths and heals and enriches your hair you can use extra version olive oil cooking oil if you want this was easier for me and I'm putting a tablespoon of oil in there and the next ingredients is avocado oil which promotes longer and stronger and healthier hair you can choose to use avocados and mash them up if you have them you just really need the oil so I just got the avocado oil put a taste tablespoon in there and after all that is done you want to mix up all your ingredients be sure to mix up the yolk and egg you don't want that like blacking all over your hair just mix everything up so that it has a smooth consistency of a regular deep conditioner so when I applied this to my hair I parted my hair into small sections and I was using a brush to apply it over all of the strands and this is just because I wanted to make sure that I applied the conditioner on each and every strand and it was well distributed so I just used a paintbrush to do this and just FYI this can get extremely messy and drippy so I had like a towel on my lap and I had an old t-shirt on that you don't mind getting messed up because this will kind of like drip everywhere and just make sure that you coat your ends whether you use a brush or whether you use your hand and coat every part of your hair and as you can see I'm just massaging it in just to give my hair full coverage and I especially concentrate on the ends because that is where your hair needs the most conditioning And this was my first time making this conditioner and as you can see as soon as I put it on you can see that my curl pattern is definitely enhanced and you can definitely tell the difference between my hair before I put it on and after so I really recommend people do this like I genuinely feel like it works and it's a cheap and easy way but as you see me applying it to my entire head you will notice a difference between how my hair looks afterwards when it's on and before how dry it looks. So after I put everything on, I basically just massaged it into my head. And like I said, I used all, absolutely all of the conditioners. So if your hair is longer, you might want to use more of the ingredients. This is what it looks like. And I'm actually going to sleep with this overnight. So I put on a plastic cap to generate some heat under there so the conditioner can penetrate my hair more. And also, I personally put on a scarf over this since I'm sleeping on it. I don't want like the conditioner juices to like drip all over my pillow. So I put this scarf to help keep that in in this scarf will help generate more heat under the cap to penetrate your hair as well so after I rinsed it out this is what my wet hair looks like as you can see I have a more defined curl pattern my hair looks a lot more moisturized and healthier and basically after for what I did for styling my hair is I did a small roller set which I'll be posting a video to that and this is what my hair looks like so as you can see I am satisfied with the results it looks healthy it looks moisturized and that's about it guys so thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you another day another time bye youtubers